How y'all doing? This is your boy Resurrect, and I have with me here one of my good friends and one of uh, New England's founding gospel rappers, yeah. Mr. B Free. How you doing, brother? What's going on, man? Good to be here with you today. All right, man. It's good to see you again, man. Listen, I know we got some uh, new stuff that's going on in your life yeah. that we could talk about. Right. But uh, before we get into that, you know, let's talk about you know what brought you to this place. Uh, the gospel rap thing, how did it start? Tell me your past with gospel rap. Man, well, for those people who don't know, mm -hmm. um, I started out actually with you uh, way back in the 90s when we still rapped yes. on cassette tapes. Never asked you to tell my age, but go ahead. Listen, cassette tapes, <laughs> we started out on cassette tapes yeah. and um, it started off actually just with a local talent show. Uh -huh. And, you know, you had asked me, you know, to come and partner up with you with a talent show. That's right, and that's we right. actually did, um, you know, show up to that event with a cassette tape <laughs> that we made with an individual, DJ Sean. And, right. um, you know, from there, I just wrote my first gospel rap. You know, I threw a couple secular ones around for right. a little bit, but uh, gospel started off there, mm -hmm. did that show. We won like $75, split that, you know, a couple yeah, different did. ways. <laughs> and from there, man, you know. Remember, we didn't have enough money. Yeah. So who was it? I think it was Sean's mother or something. Right, put in right. Because she wanted to be, you know, she wanted to be equal. Even. Right. You know we what I mean? We had a singer. We had a singer. Right, right, right. It was four of us. Yeah. And um, from that talent show, it just kept going and kept going and yeah. kept growing and eventually partnered up with a group called Verbal Witness. That's right. And from there, man, did that for a while till we were done. And then I, you know, started doing a solo thing. So that's what's up. That. Well, how, how important was uh, the whole gospel rap to you? Because, mm -hmm. you know, for me, I tell people, you know, being a pastor today, mm -hmm. you know, one of the one of the key things I, mm -hmm. I said, like, there was two key things that helped me with my uh, my pastorship. Uh, one was being married and the yeah. other one was gospel rap. Right, and wow. People crack up about that. Mm -hmm. How, what does gospel rap mean to you? Nah, man, I think for me, um, I'm, I'm just a natural artist. Like, mm -hmm. the artistry has always been in me, whether it was in uh, uh, dancing, whether it was in uh, writing poetry, because I really started out in those lanes. Mm -hmm. um, and I, it wasn't until I really got older and more mature what I realized mm -hmm. just the impact that it has, the influence and the power that it has to transform lives and, imp and you know impact people. I mean, you look at secular hip hop, right. it's a billion dollar industry because mm -hmm. it has the power to influence and mm -hmm. shape culture. And I believe that it's artists who shape our culture. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So for me, that's just very important as a person who's you know also pastoral like yourself, it's important to pour into people, lead people, disciple people. And you can do a lot of that through music, mm -hmm. arts, and entertainment. And that's really why, you know, I still do it today. There is no real deadline. I think when I'm Ooh. 70, I'll still have some sort of artistic display happening in me. So Hey man, I heard um Ice Cube said uh you know, you know, if, if these rock and roll artists can still do yeah. it, the Rolling Stones, all they're right. still doing, you know, don't let nobody tell you you can stop right. rapping. You right. Know? And I think the thing is, is that people look at just the rap element of it, the mm -hmm. spoken word, but right. the hip hop culture, it's an entire culture right. of things that, you know, we create and express through. Mm -hmm. So you see some someone like Ice Cube, everything that he does still has that hip hop culture influence in it. Right. right. You know what I mean? So that's why uh, uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce are still touring mm -hmm. or the leave that and they'll go and do something else and right. it's That's still true. it's still kind of the same thing That's so true. for me i think that i'll always be involved in the culture of hip-hop artistry mm -hmm. music and entertainment because it's just my passion we'll talk about some of uh some of your accomplishments you know yeah. some of the people you've met some of the right. places you've been with right. this form of music right well i mean I've, I've had a chance to go up and down the east coast mm -hmm. uh missed the trip to the west coast <laughs> but <laughs> You know, I put out a couple different music projects, produced mm -hmm. a lot of music projects. Okay. Um, you know, and and really, I think it it isn't until now where I feel like I'm really about to hit the place where God wants me to move. I think everything that happened before this point, this place, mm -hmm. was really to prepare me for you know just the stage that He has waiting for me, and That's I'm really ready up. to take advantage of that. So, you know, which music you've had a chance to do? Flavor Fest? Yeah. Rap Fest? Right, right. Um, Holy Hip Hop Awards. Holy Hip Hop Awards. Uh, of that. Some Bobby Jones gospel stuff. That's right, Bobby Jones you know, gospel. did that. Uh, a lot of, every local event that have, has ever happened in New England, you know, and I mean Rhode Island, Boston, and Connecticut, you know. That's what's up. <laughs> I've, I've done them. So let's talk about your new project, which yeah. you have coming out now. Well, this new project, man, it's really called, it's called, um, let it be mm -hmm. and uh really that's just kind of 
a declaration. The last project I put out as an album, I was under a different name. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was referred to as Direct. Yep. And God brought me through this whole transformation process mm -hmm. and this growth process. And this album kind of gives you a peek into that, mm -hmm. you know, what that was like, some of the experiences that I had, uh, growth, uh, life-changing occurrences right. that have happened. And I give you a little bit of a sample. It ain't everything, mm -hmm. you know, because I, I am a believer that you got to separate, you know, some parts of life. Well, the rest of that, art. you can preach it. You're right. You're right. You're right. you're right. you're right. You know, or writing books. Yeah. True, and it's going to happen through all those different mediums, you know, mm -hmm. books, uh, film, whatever it is. But this project kind of is like everybody got to get one out. Mm -hmm. You know, that transparent right. project. This is yeah. my one. Okay. And we're not going to get naked again. Okay. After that, we're going to put our clothes on. Oh, that's a little teaser. That's yeah, little teaser yeah, you yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And just let it be. It'll be out okay. real soon. So what are you hoping people would get from this album, this project? Oh, breakthrough. Breakthrough. Deliverance. Okay. Um, they hear the honesty in my heart. And they get a real introduction to me. Mm -hmm. It's not the fullness of all of me, but you get a chance to get a peek in. And you're like, oh, man, he experienced that. Oh, mm -hmm. you know, oh, well, I went through that. You know, and they hear the undertone is Jesus, which is our, obviously it's our, our deliverer and the one who can do anything that we need him to do. That's what's up. So we're going to hear a little bit of uh, your music? Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. I All got right. a little sample. That's cool. And hey, listen, man, y'all are hanging with, uh, like I said, one of the founders in, in New England. If you don't know, now you know. Check him out. Mr. B Free, he's got a, he's got some uh, some great stuff up on uh, social media. You gotta check him out on Facebook and anything else that he's throwing up. I'm sure it'll be laid out right here down here for you. We're gonna come back and hear some music from uh, B Free. Y'all be blessed. Y'all know what it is. What's up, guys? I had a great time today on Public Praise TV. Make sure you follow me and check me out facebookcom bfree 7 You can hit me up on Twitter at freeb07, and you can check out my website at madetobefree.com. What's up guys, I'm B Free, and you're watching Public Praise TV.